And 12 News is your election headquarters. All across Southeast Texas, we've seen a push to the polls today on this Super Tuesday as Republicans and Democrats face off in closely watched primary races. In fact, the eyes of Texas are on Jefferson County for what many political analysts call a real inflection point for the GOP. And that is because of this race for State Rep District 21. Incumbent House Speaker Dade Phelan fighting for his fifth term, but he faces challenges from David Covey, who has the ba backing of the governor and also Alicia Davis in this race. Good evening to you. I'm Jordan Williams. 12 News has you covered. We've got reporters with all of the campaigns today. Straight off to Kyle Orr here at five. He leads off our coverage. He's been tracking the Phelan campaign. Uh, how are they feeling tonight, Kyle? Jordan, I caught up with House uh, Speaker Dave Phelan earlier, and he said quote, that his uh, morning routine changed, quote, very little in one of the most important days in his service to Southeast Texas. Speaker Phelan showed up at Hughes Public Library in Nederland earlier this afternoon, donning a more casual Southeast Texas appearance as he makes his rounds across District 21, talking to voters about the most pressing issues facing the district and the state. He remains passionate about addressing issues like crime and the crisis at the border across party lines and standing firm on his accomplishments in the district for the past decade. Phelan tells 12 News the number of firsts he's brought to Southeast, in, to Southeast Texas in the past decade speak for his performance as a homegrown leader. More transportation dollars than anywhere else in the state of Texas, right here in Southeast Texas. First mental health hospital in, uh, since 1966, right here in Southeast Texas. First uh, round of port funding in the history of Southeast Texas, $70 million. It happened this last session. Speaker Phelan also mentioned record funding resources and resources for Lamar University and the passing of constitutional carry under his watch as speaker and District 21 representative. But he still has a long day ahead of him in the final push of the Republican primary elections. Now, it's no doubt voters will continue to pack the polls in the last couple of hours to make their voices heard. Live in Beaumont, Kyle Orr, 12 News. And we hear some of those voters and their supporters right there behind you, Kyle. Thank